Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing well and you've had a great month of December so far. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Early Christmas. If you don't, Happy Holidays. If you don't celebrate anything, I hope you're at least getting some free time to yourself and you are taking care of yourself. So if you have not heard of the Casmus challenge, it is something that was shared on Twitter and I will have the original Twitter linked below. But basically it is eight sims that are just like base sims and your goal is to customize them without changing any of the features or anything like that. And some people have gone a little bit Christmassy with them, some people haven't. I decided to not go super Christmassy with them because I don't have a lot of Christmas CC and I have actually been trying to cut back my use of CC a little bit. And so I don't really feel like going on a whole Christmas CC spree right now. So I just decided to stick with making some sims that you could use any time of the year and I think they all turned out really nice. And I also have kind of tried to base their appearances off of their personalities which were already predefined. but. You know, I wasn't trying to go super stereotypical with all of them, so some of them are a bit more unique, um, but some of them are also fairly stereotypical. Also, in case I didn't mention it, this is part one. I am splitting this up into two videos, so there will be a part two with the other half of this challenge in it, so look out for that if you enjoy this one. This first sim here is named Maddie Calloway is what I went with and he is a neighborhood confidant. He is cheerful, outgoing, and a bookworm and he gave me total like chill dad vibes and you know just a friend that you could talk to at any point in time and I imagine that all of these sims are college students or around college age and I do think he is looking a little bit older but not all college students look like they're in their 20s so that doesn't necessarily always apply and I think it still works fine for this sim. I really enjoyed actually making these sims even though I didn't do their features because the creator of these sims has a very different style of making sims than I do not a bad style or anything by any means. I actually took a lot of inspiration from their style and have some things that I'd love to incorporate into my own sims, but it was very interesting to create sims that are very different than anything I'm used to. I also feel like these sims are very unique in their personalities. Um, they don't always have traits that you would necessarily pair together right off the bat. And so I think it makes for more complex and deeper characters that would probably be really fun to play with. I also believe I ended up making Maddie here a bisexual sim um, and he uses he him pronouns and I did set custom sexualities and pronouns for all of these sims so they didn't come with them but I kind of determined them myself as I made them and looked at their traits. And I will say that I tried to make these sims as different as possible and as unique as possible. I didn't really want to use repeated CC or repeated styles, so they all end up looking very different and I love all of them so much. Also, all of their CC will be linked in the description. It will actually be a link to a Tumblr post and on my Tumblr I will have all of their CC linked for you guys. I am not sure how quickly I'm going to be able to get that list out because I'm pre-recording and I'd like to be able to get this video up while I'm away. So unfortunately, I may actually not get the CC list out for a little bit, but if you come back to this video um, after a little bit, if it's not here now, it should be in the future. I'm really sorry if I do end up having to do that, but I'm finishing school and you know, packing and getting ready to go out of town. So I have a lot of things I'm trying to balance, but I did want to have something up for you guys. So hopefully you guys at least appreciate the effort that I did put into this. Also, I know most creators are doing the nine days of Casmas as leading up to Christmas time, 
but I kind of sat down and did them all at once just so I could pre-record and get this up for you guys. So I'm not doing it in a traditional way or posting them one at a time, but I hope you guys enjoy just watching me do a speed cast video. I know a lot of people really enjoyed the Tina Day challenge I did a little bit ago, so hopefully you guys will also enjoy this huge group of sims that I'm making for you guys with CC links this time. Also, I think that I'm going to actually be posting these sims after Christmas, so even though it is a Castmas challenge, um, this will probably be going up a little bit later, which I think is fine because these sims aren't actually Christmas themed. It's just kind of the theme and idea behind the challenge. So hopefully that's not a bad thing and you guys will still enjoy having these sims. So we have now moved on to the second sim, which I absolutely love her. Her name is Savannah Prather and she is a gardener and active, a geek, and a genius. Um, by gardener, I guess I should specify she's a freelance botanist. So those are her traits and what she's into and this is kind of what I meant about having sims that have these deeper, more complex personalities that aren't into just one thing. So this sim is a geek and a genius but also is very active and loves to be outside and tending to her garden. So I gave her some athletic wear which I felt fit very well with all of these traits because personally I'm kind of a geek myself and I wear a lot of athletic wear even though I'm not that active at all. Um, and then on top of of course the active trait I felt the athletic wear fit and then working out in the garden I thought maybe a athletic outfit would be somewhat fitting. I also thought about giving her overalls or something but I just felt that the athletic wear fit a little bit better. And of course, athletic wear is just super comfy no matter what, and it doesn't actually have to be worn to work out, so I feel like it's pretty fitting. Plus, I think her outfit, even though it is a little bit more athletic, some might say, I don't think it's super heavy in the athletic department, I suppose. Um, she's wearing leggings, but she is wearing, you know, a t-shirt and a jacket tied around her waist, so... You know, it's a little bit casual, it's a little bit athletic, I guess it's kind of in the realm of athleisure or whatever you might call it. I don't know a lot about fashion, um, I just know stuff about The Sims, I guess, so that's kind of what I imagined this was. You also don't see me do it in the speed cast, but I ended up going back and giving her a couple of the Discover University tattoos because I felt like they were really fitting and really cute for her. and. Like I said, I kind of felt like all of these sims were maybe college students, so I felt like Discover University was definitely fitting to use in this scenario. Also with these sims, I didn't end up doing the ninth sim in the 9 days of Casmus challenge because it was just create your own or duplicate someone or something like that. So I just actually ended up sticking with the original 8 base sims, especially because I wasn't doing it day by day leading up to Christmas. I didn't need 9 sims, so I stuck with the original 8 base sims and I love them and I don't think I need to do another one. Plus, I think that'd be a little more difficult to try and download them off the gallery because I would have to upload a separate sim in a separate household, I guess. Also, I believe I made Savannah asexual and uses she, her pronouns. So that's what I went with for her and I felt like it was probably the most fitting. Although I was kind of debating whether or not I should use she, they, or they, she pronouns for her. But I did ultimately decide to just go with she, her pronouns. Also, this might be a little bit controversial, but if you download any of these sims and you think that their gender identity or their sexual orientation is different than I have interpreted it in this game, then that is perfectly fine. You can change it all you want. These are pixel people and they don't actually have, you know, sexualities or gender preferences or anything like that. It's a game and I think that if you interpret it differently than I do, by all means, play the game the way you want to play it. I don't think this is as prevalent as it used to be, but back in The Sims 3 days, there were a lot of simmers who would share their sims, but they were adamant that 
They didn't want you to change any of the features of the sim. And they had a similar attitude about the predetermined sexual orientation or gender identity that they had come up with for The Sim. Although those weren't features of The Sims 3, people would share, hey, this is my Sim, she's a lesbian. And they would get really upset if you changed that. And the way I see it is play The Sims however you want to play The Sims. And if you view your Sim as something different than the original creator did, you know, I think it's always good to be respectful of the original creator, but as far as I'm concerned with my sims, do what you want with them because this is a game that you are supposed to be having fun in and is supposed to be representative of life and at the end of the day, those things do end up changing for people too. Unfortunately, we live in a society that is very heteronormative and that means that most people who are in the LGBT community have had to at some point say, hey, actually, I'm not straight or I'm not cis. And so I think even if these Sims were to change their minds or change their identities, that it doesn't really matter. And it could be very reflective of coming out as a person in the real world or even changing your mind about your sexuality and who you are. And really, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's a journey of self-exploration and it takes time and it takes a lot of thought and knowing yourself truly. And it can be really hard to figure that kind of thing out, especially in a society that kind of pressures us to be straight. And that is what is seen as normal. I know personally, after having some kind of bad experiences with men, that I thought I was a lesbian for a period of time and I have no shame in admitting that I was wrong and that I am bisexual, which I always knew I was, but I kind of thought for a while that maybe I wasn't bisexual, maybe I was a lesbian and that changed and I don't find any shame in that. And I think the same is true for gender identity and so many other things in life. I mean. You can think about it even like music, you know, if you say your all time favorite music is pop music when you're 12 years old, that doesn't mean that when you're 18 years old that that still has to be true. People figure things out as they get older and sometimes people never figure it out and honestly, as long as you're happy with yourself and happy with what you have labeled yourself or chosen not to label yourself with, I don't think it really matters how other people label you or what other people call you. Anyways, I'm sorry for that little tangent. Um, I tend to get off track, but this sim, his name is Jace Crowley. He is a romantic sim. He actually has the soulmate aspiration. He is an art lover, romantic, and an overachiever. And I definitely gave him a more alternative style. And I imagine that he is pansexual, even though that isn't exactly an option in the game. Um, I think I just ticked women and men for him, but I do imagine that he is pansexual and is just looking for love, you know? I do think he turned out very cute and I really like his style. This is kind of my personal style and what I personally like, but you know, if you don't like it, that's okay. You can change it. You don't have to download the CC. You can choose other things. That is fine. Also, I'm really sorry I am talking so quiet throughout this video. It is currently 11 p.m. and like I said, I'm pre-recording so I'm trying to get all of these videos cranked out for you guys and I do live with other people so I have to be a little bit quiet this time of night. I am though flying out tomorrow so I have to get this done and I want you guys to have videos and I want you guys to have a safe place to come during the crazy holiday season. I know I talk a lot about this being a safe place for people, but it's really important to me because I know a lot of people have holiday trauma or family trauma and it can be really hard to deal with things sometimes, even just general mental health issues. And I really think that YouTube can be an escape for people and The Sims can really be an escape for people. So I want this to feel safe and a lot of my voiceovers are chill and calm for that reason. If you want to see more content where it's a little bit more upbeat and exciting, I'm doing a short lifespan 100 baby challenge and that has a very different vibe. 
Um, it's still a safe place. I still am always, always, always respectful of everybody, but that is a little bit more chaotic and a whole lot of fun. So if you want that kind of content, absolutely you should check out the 100 baby challenge. Anyways, sorry for the little bit of a plug there. We have now moved on to Isabel Fallon. She is a musical genius. She is a music lover, creative, and gloomy. And even though she is gloomy, I really wanted to go for this very bright, hippie kind of aesthetic. Because I don't feel like everybody who's gloomy has to just wear black all the time and look sad. You know, sometimes people who are gloomy or have bad days, they still are able to dress however they want and I felt like Isabel was someone who definitely wanted to wear as much color as possible. And she kind of gives me chaotic art student vibes and I love that for her. I think she looks so cute and this is not something I would personally ever wear but I think she definitely pulls it off and looks super good. I did also give Isabel she her pronouns and made her a lesbian and I actually gave her the lesbian flag shirt for her party wear that came from I think it was the carnival kit so I felt like that was super cute and obviously very fitting for her. I know there are still a few minutes left in this video but my voice is just about dead and I need to get some sleep. So hopefully you enjoy some lo-fi music and enjoy watching me create the rest of this sim. I hope you have a beautiful day and you remember to take care of yourself, drink water, eat some food, make sure that you remember that you are loved and I am proud of you. Bye.